So guys, today on Sports Central, we're going to be going over a college football game preview of the 2019 Sun Bowl between Florida State and Arizona State. This should be a good one here. Both these teams are pretty evenly matched in the previous game for both these teams. Florida State lost to number 11, Florida. That was in the last week of the regular season, 17-40. to And Arizona State beat Arizona rival uh, 24-14. to Some key stats from these games for Florida State. Terry was their best wide receiver. Uh, really, though, there weren't many impressive performances in that game against Florida. So, uh, yeah, Terry was your best one. Seven receptions, once again, 30, 131 yards. As for Arizona State, it had to be Daniels. I mean, Daniels has been a really good quarterback for this Arizona State team all season long. I saw a stat. He only has, like, two interceptions all year long. Uh, this Arizona State team's got a great quarterback, and he's got a ton of potential for the future. He's a young guy, too. Uh, but yeah, he was 12 for 19, under four yards, so really nothing too impressive against Arizona. But all season long, he's been really impressive otherwise. This game's going to be on Tuesday, December 31st, New Year's Eve, 2 p.m. Eastern Time in El Paso, Texas. Spread currently says Arizona State by four in the SPN FPI, saying Arizona State 56% as well. Vegas prediction is saying 27 to 25 Arizona State, so it's predicting Arizona State to win by two. So all three of these sources are saying uh, Arizona State in a close win, and that's what I certainly, I mean, it certainly makes sense. Arizona State is a slightly better team, in my opinion, um, coming into this game. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that Arizona State's going to win, uh, but I do believe that they are a bit of a better team coming into this game. Here's our stack comparison for this one. Florida State, 29.1 points per game, as well as 20.5 points allowed per game. They get 269 pass yards a game, 133 rush yards, and then they allow 283 pass yards and 152 rush yards a game. So overall, uh, yeah, Florida State is a pretty good uh, passing team. Blackman, their quarterback, uh, he's, had some, he's had some good games. He's had some bad games too, but overall, I mean, uh, he's been a pretty decent quarterback. Uh, for Arizona State, points per game, 25.2. Points allowed, 23.3. So more of the same. Uh, pass yards, 253. Rush yards, 126. And then they allow 270 pass yards and 116 rush yards a game. So these two teams are very similar uh, in many areas. I mean, they're mainly passing teams, that's for sure. And then defensively, they're, they don't have as good of a secondary, but they've got a really good rushing defense. So and in this case, Arizona State does have a, better, a bit of a better rushing defense uh, than Florida State does. Record-wise, Florida State is 6-6 six and six coming into this one, and Arizona State is 7-5. and five. Here's their previous five games as well for both these teams. Once again, Florida State lost to Florida. They also beat Alabama State 49-12. Good win there. Uh, they beat Boston College by a touchdown, 30-31. to They lost to Miami, 27-10. to That's a tough loss there. Of course, Miami hasn't been near as good this year um, as they have been. And so that would have been a huge win for Florida State if they could have gotten a win there. Uh, they did beat Syracuse significantly, though, 35-17. And as far as it goes for Arizona State, they beat Arizona. They beat Oregon, number six team in the nation at the time, 31-28. So, yeah, overall, that was a huge win for this Arizona State team. And I had I had no clue that they are going to win that game. Like, if, if going into that game you were to tell me that Arizona State would win, I would have been stunned. Uh, because, I mean, they were, they were on a big losing streak. And they lost a couple of bad games as well in there. I mean, they lost to UCLA, 42-32. And they also lost to Oregon State, 35 to 20, 30 or 35 to 34. They also lost to USC. So, uh, yeah, three pretty bad losses right off, um, right before that week against Oregon. So, yeah, that's a really really good win for this Arizona State team, certainly. Some key points for this one: Florida State's coaching situation has been a bit of a mess this season. Of course, Willie Taggart was fired, and so now they got a new head coach under center. And so, I mean, yeah, I think Florida State, if, if that either can be good motivation for this team or it could be detrimental to this team and I guess we'll have to find out it'll definitely be um, very evident in this game that's for sure Arizona State certainly building momentum for 2020 this Arizona State team watch out because I think in this 2020 season this is going to be a dangerous Pac-12 team certainly uh, looking at the way that they're finish off, finishing off the season if they can finish it off with a bowl win against Florida State that would be a huge step in the right direction. Uh, Arizona State with their quarterback, their young quarterback, he's very good. Um, and then along with that, I mean, Arizona State overall has had a pretty good year. Uh, except for that losing streak kind of in the late October, early November range. Uh, this Arizona State team has been very, very good all year long. So, uh, y'all watch out for this team, certainly. This would be a huge win if they can get a win here. Uh, it's definitely more important for Arizona State than Florida State. I think Florida State just needs to get over with the year and just reset and get ready to go for 2020. Arizona State has won two straight once again. Includes a win against Oregon and Florida State, though. They do have more talent. Of course, they've always had much better recruiting. And so you got to consider that as well. They do have more talent on that team. they got more potential. How would each team win, though? I think if 
honestly, if either team can get up by two or three touchdowns at any point, it should be over. Uh, but I do expect this to be a pretty close one. I think that if Arizona State um, can shut down Florida State early, that'd be huge. But I don't think Arizona State's going to go away very easily. So uh, Arizona State's going to be clearly the more, I'd say, motivated team in this one. Uh, just because Florida State's come off of a couple of bad losses. And, um, and then again, Arizona State's doing really good right now. Uh, and so that's why I think they're going to have more, more momentum. And they're going to be more motivated coming into this game. And motivation is always a huge factor in bowl games. We see that all the time. Like yesterday, of course, when Louisiana Tech played Miami. You guys may remember that game. Um, yeah, Miami ended up losing to Louisiana Tech. Now, should they have lost to Louisiana Tech? They definitely should not have, but it was a motivation issue in my opinion. Like, there's no way a team like Miami with great recruiting gets shut out to Louisiana Tech without something else being involved, and it definitely was motivation. But nonetheless, here's my prediction for this one. I think Arizona State gets the win here by 11. Halftime score, 21 to 14. Touchdown lead for Arizona State, and they end up winning it 35 to 24 overall. I think Arizona State's more motivated once again. They got plenty of talent on that team, and I think Daniels goes off. This Arizona State team gets the win 35 to 24. And overall, that caps off a really good year for Arizona State. I mean, then again, for Florida State wasn't all that good of a year. I mean, Florida State's been pretty down lately. Uh, but with this new coach, I mean, we'll have to see. I mean, next year could be a big year uh, for him. So, you know, once again, thank you guys all for watching, though. Uh, stay tuned for more bowl previews coming up over the next couple days. We got some more bowl previews coming. I think we got about five or six more. So, yeah, stay tuned for those. Thank you guys all for watching once again, and I will see you all later.